the Egyptian police on nighttime patrol. They're keen to show they're on the streets and in control. It wasn't always so. During the revolution, the police were overwhelmed and forced off the streets by Egyptians who saw them as a symbol of the country's oppression. Now they're redeploying and, like the rest of the country's despised security apparatus, restructuring. But with the lifting of the curfew, the prime concern is safety. There was an increase in the level of crime, but now it's gone back down. I guarantee you the situation is under control and crime is at the same level as it was before. People, though, by and large, don't seem to agree. There is, at the very least, a perception here that criminals are taking advantage of the security apparatus restructuring and the less visible presence of police on the streets. So is this idea that Egypt is less safe today than it was before the revolution, just paranoia on the part of Egyptians, or is there some truth to it? Zabattak.com is a website ordinary Egyptians started to assess just that. Among other things, it tries to monitor crime across Egypt. Though it's still new and relies on people contacting them, the information the website has gathered shows a change in the types of crimes being committed in the four months since the revolution. Uh, from the data we have collected, we have been noticing an increase in the individual uh, crimes, uh, car theft, uh, properties um, theft, mugging, and so on. And we have been noticing uh, a decrease in uh, land theft and building without permits, probably because people are noticing the redistribution of police. Egypt's military rulers are keen to promote the idea that the country is getting back to business. Lifting the curfew is meant to do just that. But it will take time and work, not only for the security establishment to restructure, but also for Egyptians to start trusting it. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.